Hello, I'm the Cinema Fanatic, and today I'm going to review Norbert Mottier's Alien Platoon. So yeah, I'm doing an audio review today. The reason being was because the webpage that had the movie I reviewed was having all these issues. It was constantly freezing, and the page was resetting, and so basically I couldn't get any footage for this review. <laughs> Granted, there was a, a few clips on YouTube, and there's a lot of photographs, so I'll be using those. So, Alien Platoon is a 1992 sci-fi horror film directed by and starring Norbert Mottier going under the alias Burt Goldman. Norbert Mottier is known for the low-budget Texas Chainsaw Massacre-esque movie Agroth the Mad Mutilator. The plot of Alien Platoon is that the army are sick of paying compensation to the families of dead soldiers. So they create a super soldier robot to fight in their place. Only the super soldier robot breaks out, goes on a rampage, and then hightails it out to the woods. The head of the project, played by adult film director Jean Roland, calls upon Norbert Mottier to gather a group of soldiers and go after the robot. Only the robot winds up killing them. Our surviving characters eventually make it to a factory slash underground dungeon where zombies are being manufactured. The zombies attack and Norbert blows up the factory. He then bumps into a leather clad lady who kills his fellow surviving soldier and then leaves Norbert for dead. After that point we never see Norbert again. The lady then bumps into the robot and is able to subdue it. She and the robot then wind up at the hospital. The end. Wow. This film had a plot that slowly dissolved into a pile of mush. So at first glance, this film has many similarities to Predator, but changes things up by making the creature a robot, having zombies show up, and by having a woman go against the robot. Also, this film is shot on video, and much like Predator, it primarily takes place in the woods. In fact, the majority of this film is just our main characters walking through the woods and then getting killed off by the robot in a variety of ways. But unlike Predator, the death scenes aren't interesting just stabbing, shooting, and explosions. Speaking of the death scenes, a few of them are done off-screen, probably because of budgetary reasons, such as one guy getting blown up. All we see of this are his scattered body parts. But when someone does get killed on camera, the effect is pretty good. Granted, it was done via jump cut. I also have to mention the robot's methods of killing off our characters. He will kill someone off, then he'll send the remaining characters an action figure with a photograph of the deceased taped to it. He also sets up a trap using a tape recorder and speakers to make it seem like a helicopter is coming for our characters. Where did he get the audio equipment from? He also leaves skulls and body parts strewn about the forest, just like the Predator. Speaking of the body parts, or I should say the special effects, they range from okay to oh my god. As stated before, some of the makeup is good, however most of the body parts are obviously made of plastic. The weapons, also made of plastic, never emit muzzle flashes. The zombies have what appear to be hair nets covering their faces, and when the factory is blown up, it's obviously a miniature. The sound effects are also terrible. They sound like they were being recorded in a big empty room, and the same sounds are used continuously. Some good things I have to say about this movie is that Norbert was able to get some locations, like a factory and a hospital. However, other locations look really shoddy, as if they were made out of whatever material they could get their hands on. What about the acting? Well, for the most part, it sounds okay. However, during the fight scenes, the action is terrible and the choreography is slow, as if the actors have never learned how to throw a fake punch. So that's my review of Norbert Maltier's Alien Platoon. Check it out, it's on Daily Motion. 
But you know, if you get bored easily, don't watch it. I'll see you next time.